Hello, so in this lecture uh, we are going to study about uh, how to use uh, circuit simulators uh, such as LT Spice, the, the name of this uh, circuit simulator. There are other circuit simulator uh, which are called as P Spice uh, from ORCAD uh, and NG Spice. Uh, some of them are the open source uh, softwares. So, uh, which you can just type these names on the Google uh, uh, Chrome, for example, right over here on the Google, we can just say LT Spice over here. And what we see there comes the website, then there is a circuit design tools right here. So, it's simply you can type LT Spice download for Windows or Linux whatever the operating system you are using or uh, instead of this we can also type pspice uh, download and just uh, grow, uh, scroll it and uh, what we see is that there is a free trial available from the OCAT company so for a student version also it's available so one can always download so uh, I am talking going to talk about the LT Spice so I have uh, after I download I install this program on the computer drive and after the installation what I can do is that I simply type LT Spice and then I can click over here and it opens uh, the main window uh, right over here so I have opened it already so I'll close one of them so now we are on the screen so to begin with so circuit simulator with this circuit simulator we can simulate various kinds of circuit uh, for example analog circuit digital circuits uh, and we can always uh, simulate from the very basic fundamental circuitry uh, to the complex circuitry so let us start what we can see from the main screen we can click on this symbol or we can go to file and we can click on the new schematic because we are now going to draw the new schematic uh, instead of that I can always also click on this uh, symbol so that uh, opens me a window a blank one to draw the schematic of the circuit I intend to simulate and there are uh, this is that uh, palette in which there are various symbols that we are going to get familiar with and what we can see is that I need to uh, see some components so I can uh, navigate uh, to this uh, place and see there is a symbol uh, called component I can click over it and I have this library then in which I can see that okay there is a diode uh, there is a transistor uh, there is a NPN transistor I can have uh, there is a symbol for MOSFET and some there are simple uh, components uh, devices and uh, there are also a category of uh, difficult and more complex uh, uh, circuit symbols and devices so if I am interested in operational amplifier I can click on op amps uh, for example I double click on that and choose uh, the number uh, whatever the IC uh, which are available in the market such as AD746 so I can see the description dual precision uh, by FET operational amplifier but what if I want to uh, go back to the original library I click over here and I want to see where is the register so I can just uh, uh, scroll and search little bit over here if I'm not able to uh, quickly find it what I can do is I just type res register so I get a symbol for register if I'm interested in capacitor I type C I, uh, instead of typing C A P or C a capacitor fully I can only just type C and it's available similarly for the inductor I can uh, I and D I can type and I get the symbol for it so uh, that is all 
uh, if I am interested in the voltage source or current source is the similar procedure so what we are going to do is that we are going to draw a simple schematic and try to simulate it and I will navigate you all through how to simulate how to analyze uh, the results uh, and how to use this circuit simulator effectively so what I do is that instead of cl uh, clicking on this component library I also have the availability of these symbols simple uh, the passive components which is a resistor capacitor and the inductor so I do one thing I click on this symbol and come over the main screen and what I see is that with the cursor or mouse in my hand I see that I can navigate uh, on any place of this screen this component so I click and I am able to place it on the screen then it automatically creates a copy of it if I don't want another register I can simply press the escape key on my computer keyboard or else if I want to make another copy of this register I can again go back to this symbol click over here come back and then I place another one and it again creates a copy if I am not in need of that I will simply press escape uh, so key, key on the computer keyboard so uh, that is also what we see here this is the register R1 because this is the register R it is indicated by this uh, letter R um, this is register R2 and now uh, we are going to build a very fundamental resistor uh, resistive circuit and we'll try to simulate and we'll try to see the analysis so now i am going to uh, have the voltage source across this uh, i'm going to create a potential divider or a voltage divider so i need a voltage source so i can't see the symbol of voltage source in the uh, in the palette over here so I can always go back to this component library by clicking over here and instead of searching all this uh, library of devices and the components what I can do I can click here and simply type so is I don't even need to type fully so I just type V O L or even VO that gives me a voltage source that's the symbol over here so this is a voltage source it could either be DC a direct current voltage source it could be a AC alternating current voltage source it could be a pulse uh, uh, voltage source it can be a sine wave voltage source etc so once I select that I click OK and I'm in a position to place this uh, symbol of the voltage source on the screen right over here as already explained uh, any component that we place it creates automatic copy we don't need it so we'll just press again escape key on the keyboard and now comes uh, of wiring how to wire these components and uh, sources to each other so there is a symbol in the palette over here that indicates wire I click over it and then I come to this screen I click on one terminal of voltage source and then I navigate through the uh, mouse and uh, or or the cursor over here and then I just try to draw the wire as if I'm drawing the schematic on the piece of paper then I come over here I want to connect uh, have a connection between register R1 and R2 so I click one over here and another click over here that connects my register R1 with R2 then I click at the bottom of another terminal of R2 and go back uh, right over here and try to complete the circuit okay so that is there if I want to have the I, I want to fit the schematic uh, for example it is going down or let's say it is going up so the way to do that is I can click on the view and I can always click on zoom to fit so it will fit, fit the schematic 
uh, first I had to cancel this uh, by pressing escape uh, key and then I go to view and zoom to fit so it will fit the schematic on the screen uh, so now what I do is that I will create a circuit ground so I have a ready-made symbol over here and then I try to come over here somewhere here I'll place uh, the schematic and I will connect the ground with the circuit over here so another way to uh, fit the schematic in the window is to uh, is to hit the space bar on your computer keyboard so that will place uh, to make it fit so now that we have placed all the devices uh, of course we don't have devices here instead we have these two registers as a components and uh, one voltage source uh, so we are done with this uh, drawing the schematic uh, the next step is to define the values so what is value value how much is the what is the value of the voltage source what type of voltage source it is etc what is the value of resistor r1 what is the value of resistor r2 so what i'm gonna do is that i'm gonna right click over here over the uh, symbol of resistor r1 uh, what i see here is uh, resistor r1 and its properties so resistance how much is the resistance that is defined by r uh, it has a tolerance for example any resistance value will vary by certain percentage uh, which is a practical um, uh, thing and a power rating it indicates how much power uh, that resistor can handle so i can click on this uh, select resistor and i see here okay there is a resistance range of resistor values over here they have their power ratings and they have their tolerance uh, in percentage so we can go through range of this uh, if i want to have the resistance value of let's say one kilo ohm so i am going to click over here so i have selected the value of resistance as one kilo ohm it has a power rating of 100 milliwatt uh, it has a tolerance of 1% so what does that mean is uh, if I have a value of resistance uh, value of about 1000 ohm 1% 1 tolerance indicates it can vary the resistance value can vary between 1% uh, 1% uh, uh, one, uh, 1 of 1000 okay so it could be plus minus 1% so I click OK so you can see now the resistance R becomes 1 kilo ohm another way so similarly I will define the value of resistance R2 by right clicking over here and instead of clicking the select register over here and then choosing the range of values as given over here instead of that I can always just select uh, uh, the symbol R and try to type the value from there so 1k I can type here so that gives me a 1k1 so uh, now I right click on the symbol of voltage source V1 so as we can see that this DC value I can give it to be a 1 volt uh, of course this uh, if this is a practical voltage source it will always have a resistance or, uh, in series with it right over here okay we can indicate indicate that uh, but uh, for now we'll just uh, assume that it is an ideal voltage source so we'll indicate that with the uh, series resistance equals 0 ohm uh, let us explore what is this advanced keys by clicking over here so as I explained before uh, I can define what kind of voltage source it is so right now I have chosen it to be none so it is a DC voltage source uh, in which I can define its DC value uh, from here which I think I, I have already uh, defined it but if I type here it's about 1 volt 
then that gives me a value small signal AC analysis uh, will can discuss this uh, later uh, which is not uh, important right now to discuss here uh, and now I can always choose between the different types of uh, voltage sources so I've chosen uh, it to be a none so I can define the DC value let's say if I don't define it here and we can just click OK and we don't have any value over here so again right click so I have to type here one volt but if I don't define here for example and I click advanced and then I type here one volt so that will place the value right over as we can see here so this is how it goes uh, so now the circuit schematic is uh, complete uh, what I can do here is uh, uh, I have to now def uh, I have to now uh, decide what kind of simulation I'm going to perform here and maybe uh, I am interested in uh, operating point for example I want to see the voltage at this node or voltage uh, at this node over here uh, as a function of uh, the application of one volt source across register R1 and R2 they are in series over here so what I can do is that there is a wire over here I can right click and I have this option I can highlight the net uh, if I click over here we can see that uh, this net or wire is highlighted uh, this is useful when we are done with the simulation and we want to see which ne uh, uh, the specific result is for which net or which wire so I can always uh, get away from it by pressing again the escape uh, key on the keyboard and again I uh, right click on this one then I can define a label net uh, so label net tells me uh, what is the name of this wire uh, so I can let's say I can type V O so V1 is my input which is a DC voltage source and also input to the circuit which is made of two resistors and V O is the name of the output because from this net I am trying to extract the value of output and port type it is an input or output or bi-directional you can define so for example I want to define it to be output so I click on this that gives me uh, this particular symbol I would choose it to place somewhere here uh, so that is uh, my circuit output again I'll hit the escape key and then I try to connect this output uh, to the circuit over here so as you can see that uh, I have now created the input and output of my uh, circuit what I can also do is that I have this option move or I, I have option of drag so let's see what happens if I click on the drag and try to select this and move my cursor so this is dragging over here so I place over this one and then try to see how things are moving so that is how you can explore it yourself and now uh, so let us see I have a 1 volt across this uh, register divider and what is going to be the voltage at this node so it is simple uh, with the simple hand calculation we can always calculate it would be R2 multiplied by V1 divided by a sum of R1 plus R2 so that should be the voltage so it will be 1k into 1 volt divided by 2k so it should be 0 0.5 volt at this particular node so let us check that so what kind of analysis we can do here so before clicking the simulation uh, simulation button what we can do is that uh, we can click on 
let us see that what we can do here uh, okay so simulate we just take our mouse uh, on this uh, uh, on this function and we see that uh, there is a control panel so we can click over here uh, right over here okay so let me get back to this it is not this one no okay okay edit simulation card so it would be again once again so we want to simulate this circuit so i click on simulate and edit simulation card so what simulation card uh, simulation command gives me is that the range of analysis it is ranging from transient ac transient is with respect to time ac analysis uh, then i have a dc sweep analysis uh, we are going to explore them one by one uh, then i can have a noise analysis of course uh, i would like to know what is the uh, noise in my circuit then another is a dc transfer uh, so i can always uh, use this analysis and one uh, again there is one that is called operating point so it is indicated by dot op so all these analysis uh, they have this command so that is the spice command uh, spice or circuit simulator command that i can place uh, so this for example i am interested in uh, calculating and computing the dc operating point of this particular circuit so that is uh, indicated by uh, dot op command so it will compute the dc operating point um, if i have a capacitance in the circuit that will be treated as open circuits if i inductances uh, in my circuit that will be treated as a short circuit before uh, while uh, executing this particular uh, command um, by the spice so as of now i have only registers so i will just click on this so once uh, that is done we can see that this op when i selected that this command is coming over here so let us uh, i would like to drag this somewhere first I, and just put it over here and fit the schematics once i am done now what i can do is that either i can click on run which will tell the circuit simulator to run the simulation or i can again click on simulation and i have this option run over here and i'm gonna click on that so the simulation is done so what we can do and see here uh, what is uh, these are the different uh, these are the names of the uh, voltages and the currents which are operational into this particular circuit uh, various voltages and currents uh, these are their values second column uh, and we are going to investigate uh, and understand what is all there so v voltage of at the node n o o 1 so we don't know right now what is this uh, node about uh, and where it is I can identify but uh, unless I define it uh, it's difficult if the circuit complexity is higher uh, for now I can see that this is basically telling me the voltage of uh, voltage source V1 then V of VO that is the voltage uh, at the node VO so as indicated as we calculated in theory right over here this is going to be 0.5 volt so as we can see that this is 0.5 now this operating point analysis is also giving me the current so theoretically you can always calculate the current if i want to calculate the current through register r2 uh, by hand calculation it can be calculated as it is again simple voltage divider so if i want to calculate the current through the resistors what i need to know is that the voltage across r2 which is 0.5 as uh, calculated earlier divided by the value of this resistor which is 1k 
so it is going to be uh, five um, uh, zero point zero 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 five so it's like 0.5 milliampere so and circuit simulator computes the same as we can see that for the car similarly the current through r1 is again 0 0.0005 which is uh, 0.5 milliampere and uh, the current this is the uh, series circuit so current drawn by the uh, uh, drawn uh, by the circuit or let's say the current delivered by this voltage source is uh, 0 0.005 so it has a minus sign because it is delivering the current and the current through R1 and R2 they have a plus sign because they are uh, uh, the, so the V1 is sourcing the current and the current uh, R1 and R2 the current is sinking into them so that's why they have these uh, polarities of these uh, value uh, for these values okay so uh, for now uh, it is uh, the that's all for this particular uh, lecture and maybe we'll continue later uh, in the next class uh, where we can see some more uh, we can add a little more complexity and see some more simulation thanks